Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Leo Love Prediction reading for December 6th through December 12th. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not your story. It's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled, always honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you so much in advance if you do. Please know that my readings, I lay the first five cards down that gives you a general overview. The second part of the reading where I clarify the cards is where you get the true story um, line that the spirit guides want you to know. So if this is your reading, take a moment. Please sit back, relax, and just enjoy the reading to the end. Thank you so much. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, sweet, kind, loyal Leos. What's going on with my loving Leo spirit guys? Spirit guys, can you please show me what's going on with my Leos? What's going on with my Leo spirit guys? Let's see Leos what you got going on. Page of Cups. King of Cups. Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords and Page of Pentacles. <laughs> well, Leo, 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 Leo. <laughs> Who's this person you can't let go of? Who's this person that got you? Somebody got you because here, this person gives you all kind of nonsense. In the middle of the reading is a Ten of Wands. You want to let go of them. You keep saying, I'm going to let go of them. You're not going to let go of them. You're not. But here, Page of Cups, let's start at the beginning. The Page of Cups is a, you're offering your love, your kindness, your gifts, everything to somebody. Because I think they just act a little wacky. I think they're just a little crazy, but I think you like it. You like it. Because the Page of Cups next to this King of Cups, one minute you're in, next minute you're out. One minute you think you got them as far as love and loving you and get your heart space. And then the next minute you have the King of Cups here, which is a very, yes, you're still loving them. Very emotional, but it's a pullback love. It's a controlled love. So someone that you love, someone that you think, but I think they're just a little bit crazy, and I think you like it. I do. I really, really think you like it because it keeps things interesting, doesn't it, Leo? They're just a little bit crazy, but it keeps things interesting because this page of cups is all about love. It's the beginning of love as well. But see, you move from the beginning of love to the king of cups real, real quick. So this is somebody that has swept you off your feet, but you know how you get in the middle of something, you go, wait a minute, this mo this person, something's not quite right because you had to pull back. Then you say in the Ten of Wands is in the middle of your reading, you're saying this person is a burden to you. You got to let them go. You're telling everybody, yeah, 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 this, 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 but you're, you're going to let them go. That's what you keep telling people. You're going to let them go, but guess what? You're not. You know how I know you're not? Because you have this Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords is an unhealthy sometimes attachment. And somehow this person has got you all tied up into their web. Even though you said you're going to let them go. This is a burden to you. You know, you complain, 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 complain about how they are, what they do, what they don't do, what they don't give you. But something about them makes you tied to them. You can walk away at any time with that Eight of Swords there. Eight of Swords is always, you can walk away at any time, but you're not. And then what's really interesting, I'm going to, I can't wait to read the rest of this reading because the page of pentacles, the page of pentacles is all about um, perhaps you're offering gifts and things to someone. But the page of pentacles is the beginning. You're trying to figure out, I think, just how to make them happy because they can be bat it crazy. You know exactly what I'm saying. Someone can be bat it crazy, but you know what? No matter what they are, you like them. So you're trying to figure out, how do I calm this person down? How do I get this person to be on the same page as me? Do I give them gifts? Do I give them money? What do I do? But you know, no matter what, you are tied to them. So if you give me just a, a three to five more minutes and let me clarify this reading. If this is your reading, if you're with someone that's bat it crazy, someone that's totally off the chain, but you're in love with them and like them very much, you've gone from a page of cups to a king of cups real quick. Let's see what the spirit guys have to tell you. Show me, spirit guys. Why is this page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here for my Leos? Show me why the page of cups is here for Leos. Oh, the chariot. 
You got the chariot. It could be a cancer person as well. But the chariot card is a card of determination. And it's almost like you know how you are, Leos. When you want something, you go after it. You go after it all the way. And the chariot cards means you are determined to get this person. You are determined to get them. You are determined to get them on your side. You are determined to get them to love you like you want to be loved and like you want to have a relationship with them. You are determined. Um, could be a cancer person. But the chariot card also means as above, so below. So perhaps the gods are smiling on you for this. So perhaps the gods are smiling on you. Maybe this person is bat it crazy and you are bat it crazy. And I can't say you know what, what I mean when I say bat it crazy. Maybe you both are bat it crazy. Maybe you're a perfect couple. How about that? So let's see. King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the King of Cups here? Ah, you're manifesting. The magician is there. You need some magic. You need something to get this person. Because like I said, they are crazy. In a good way, though. You know what I mean. Not that they're crazy, mentally crazy. But they're just... its You understand what I'm saying. You think you got them in the next minute you don't. That's what is turning you on. That is what's making you be with, their, with them. That's why you can't release them. And you're manifesting. With this King of Cups, like I said, you pulled back. Because you thought you had them. You did. You thought you had them, but you didn't. Because they went off and did something else. And you're like, what, what, what the flip? That's where you are right now. But you're manifesting. You're asking the heavens to help you with this relationship. Because you really want this person. You're asking the heavens to really help you with this relationship. Because you really want them. Let's see why this Ten of Wands is here. You're saying they're burdened. You, you know, it's almost like you want to throw your hands up. Because Ten of Wands is actually an ending. You're saying that they are burdened no matter what. Somehow you're, they're burdened to you. So let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Oh, I told you. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands is there because you keep saying, oh, I'm going to leave them alone, I'm going to stop. They're bad and crazy. I know, we're both crazy. Two of Pentacles means you keep juggling that emotion, don't you? You keep juggling that emotion. One minute in, one minute out. That Ten of Wands means you're burdensome and you're telling everybody you're going to leave them, but you're not. You're not, Leo. You really aren't. So let's see why the Eight of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Eight of Swords here for my Leo? Show me. Oh, Five of Pentacles. They put you in a deep... Uh, uh, five of Pentacles over the Eight of Swords means, yes, like I said, you are attached to them no matter what. But the Five of Pentacles means that something about this relationship really, really gets under your skin, gets to your heart. But it's something about this relationship that really puts you down, too. It makes you feel like maybe you're not worthy enough. Or maybe you just feel like you don't have enough money to take care of them. Maybe that's it. But somewhere, some part of this relationship is lacking. But even though this relationship is lacking, like I said, that Eight of Swords is there. And that Eight of Swords means that no matter what, even though the relationship may be lacking, you still want to be with them. You trying to figure out how can you be with them. Let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here. Show me why the Page of Pentacles is here. Oh, you've got the Four of Swords. So, yes, you're just trying to figure it out. That Four of Swords is just a contemplation card. It's just a take a time out card. Just to get your head right card. I don't know if you're going to be with them though, card. Because that Four of Swords means sometimes that you're taking a time out from the relationship. And I do believe you are taking a time out because they have their hooks in you. And you're trying to figure out how to get their hooks out. You're trying to figure out with the money, whatever you need to do. You're trying to figure out how to get their hooks out. Let's see here at the beginning of the of the uh, read. Page of Cups, you love somebody. You're beginning to love someone. The Chariot card means that you are determined to get them to love you like that. Could be a cancer person. King of Cups means that you went from Page of Cups, which is the beginning of love, to automatically um, to moving quickly to the King of Cups. This person rocked your world. But you are the King of Cups just means you pull back on your emotions. Because the Magician card here, which is manifestation, you're trying to see if they're going to love you the same way that you feel for them. And you're trying to really just guard your heart. Then the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> you keep telling everybody you're going to leave them, you're going to move on. But guess what? Two of Pentacles on top of this Ten of Wands. This is a burden. That's what you're telling everybody. But guess what? Your heart is still in it. You're still juggling it. One, one minute in, one minute out. That two of pentacles means juggling emotions. Eight of sources, you're tied to this person. Even though they sometimes make you feel like you're not good enough. You're still tied to them. All the good outweighs the bad for you. And then you have that page of pentacles, which is an offering of gifts and love. And all of the above. But you have this four of, of uh, 
swords, which means that you're sitting back and relaxing, trying to figure out, you're contemplating, how do I get this person? You've taken a time out possibly from the relationship. Let's see what my African goddess have to say. My African goddess have to say for an oracle card. Let's see what my African goddess have to say. Oh, they say you, she says, Mamambo is her name, and she says you self-sabotage. So just when you think you got them, just because maybe they're not doing things your way, you self-sabotage this. That's what you do. And in order for you to get it, that's what you probably need to learn with sitting back, contemplating with the